Hair transplants are a lot like planting trees. You gotta prepare the soil and that you make the uh, holes or the recipient slits and you want them to be just the right depth. For example, in this guy, we got a little too deep and so the top of the root ball would have been below the ground and the water accumulates and rots the tree. In people, what happens is epithelium off the top of the uh, skin edges can grow beneath the surrounding skin and give you a big old cyst on your head, which occurs in about 5% of hair transplants, but at least to date we've had zero in 20 years at our office. And you'll notice that in all of our post-op pictures, or our immediate post-op pictures, there's always a little bit of the follicle sticking up out of the ground. Sorry, out of the scalp. Looks like you have a cold. Yes, my nurse infected me. My nurse and camera person, an assistant tree planner, infected me with some kind of Canadian virus on our trip to Canada last week. And you know, a lot of my posts have talked about planting things in Virginia clay. I mean, this is Virginia clay. It got rained on last night. So it's like scooping pudding in this hole. And uh, we've talked about using PRFM to fertilize hair grafts. When I plant trees, and I planted about 3,000, I put a little bit of super fine mulch in there, potting soil. It sticks around for a month or two until the nutrients get washed out. And I think that's about the same as here I am. Certainly in the 40, 43 trees I put in my own yard, I've only lost one. That's pretty good. Pretty good ratio. So, here's just like trees. I love planting stuff. Right, Wendy? Yes, sir. Okay, so we got a little bit of clay in here. Now let's get some fertilizer. So again, if this was hair, I would leave it like this. Leave a little bit of the root ball up, with that epithelium up. It would be great. Out here in Virginia clay, we'll go ahead and add a little more dirt up to the top and then put a little mulch around the edge. But still, it's the same principle as planting hair. It just all makes sense. So we got the, the dirt in around the root ball. And again, if this were skin, uh, hair, this would be the dermis. And we have it up just a little bit. The plants, you leave it up just a little bit so the water doesn't soak down on there and rot those four root balls. This four hair graft off of the, at the surface. So we'll put a little mulch on here. It'll soak up some of the extra water. You just get everything back off of the 
off of the graft or the root, whichever one you want to be working on. And that ought to do great. Three down, six to go. So I know I did a different video about FUE, but imagine that we've done an FUE punch around this three hair graft. And we reach in and with careful forceps pick up. And it ought to come out like this. Because that's but a strong these one. aren't separated on the bottom, so you end up avulsing that root ball off at least a little bit. And that's why if you, on average, are less resilient than carefully dissected strip grafts. That's a strong tree. We'll do it again on the other way. Yeah, we'll do one more tree. Are you coming? So two more things. People often ask, when I make the holes, how do the girls know what angle to set the hair in at? And uh, it's just like this tree. So although this tree's bigger than the root, than the follicle, the hole's bigger than the follicle. You can you can make a, a narrower hole so that the tree would only sit like that and it'll grow like this. Of course, the tree will eventually go straight. But So when a hair doctor makes holes, you go around in whatever area you're in, you angle the hole in the angle that you want the the follicles to stick out of. So uh, up at the front, they're fairly fairly straight up and down compared to farther back. And I angle them out radially. Back here towards the back, those boys are lit, aimed way over like this. And so the hair grows that way like that. But most people have reasonably fine hair. At least most of our people have reasonably fine hair. But you can comb it and style it however you want to. And then the last thing is that uh, just like hair, you know, people show up with crappy scalps and good scalps. And one of the earlier trees I showed, we were putting it up in Virginia clay up on the side of a hill, a lot of rock. It'll still grow, but that's that's like a not a great scalp. This dirt down here is good scalp. You know, it's flat, it's mostly brown, good quality stuff. It's 20 feet from a water source, and there's about four springs right around here feeding into this. This is good scalp. If I were betting any amount of money, I would bet that if we plant two identical trees, one here and one up on the hill, this boy will be twice as big and twice as full as the one up on the hill in the same amount of, in five years. So I hope that helped to explain some of the issues with uh, hair transplants uh, in relation to how trees are planted. I like planting hair and I like planting trees. Take care. <laughs>